Yeah, good lead in. Let's talk about uh, these huge Elon Musk accusations that dropped um, yesterday. And the whole timeline of this is great, you know. Basically, he's been tweeting nonstop about how he, he comes out as Republican the day before. What was the timeline here? It, it's, it's so what what he came out as Republican three hours after um, being contacted by the reporters and asking for comment on these essay uh, mm -hmm. allegations and uh, dec declared himself a, a Republican and warned of dirty tricks to come against him. Oh, here's the timeline. Yeah, this person wrote it up. It was really good. He goes, Elon historically donated to both Democrats and Republicans. Uh, you know, unionization efforts started gaining steam nationwide, which uh, has a negative effect on his business. Debatable, you know. You want your workers to be happy, right? Yeah, negative on who? I was just saying, maybe his bottom line, but I think more productive workers probably do better work, but mm -hmm. hey, I'm not, I don't own Tesla. Um, Business Insider journalist contacted him for comment on an essay piece before they published it. And then Elon quickly spams tweets about how political attacks are coming mm -hmm. and it's the woke left's fault. He literally started tweeting three hours after being contacted. So as this insider piece comes out, he's actually successfully uh, convinced people that this is a political smear because he came out as Republican. I've seen so many people, including the quartering, who I, I have, a, I know he's dumb, but how can he be that dumb to be like, just, he, he literally was like 24 hours after he came out as Republican. The smears are already coming. What's funny about that is that- The other way around. Well, what, exactly, <laughs> no. and it's so obvious. It's so obviously and the other way around. It's always done like that. <laughs> They always reach out to you a little bit before, try to get a comment. It's like, you know it's coming. They said they even extended the deadline to give them more time to comment. But what's interesting about this is this incident happened six years ago. And this conversation he's been having with Business Insider obviously predates his proclamation that he's a Republican. It's so obvious spin that you have to be the I mean, some people don't follow all of it, so I, I can understand people following it. But the quartering, I know he's dumb, but, like, you can't be that dumb. Dumb. He, like, he literally tweeted, only 24 hours later, and they're already going after him. I was but like, it, you're it not that dumb, right? Pull that tweet up, would you? It goes back to what we were just talking about. He built this cult-like following, and so they're already so deep invested in every little tweet that he makes. Yeah. He's got an army ready I agree. to defend him. Because all the Quarterings fans love Elon. He doesn't want to go against the family. But he knows. He knows. I don't know. He's, it's all dumb. I mean, he's got to know. So the story is, and I read the article. God, he looks like such a fucking villain in this photo, doesn't he? I seen this photo of him. I'm just like, dude. What the fuck, bro? Such a pasty little freak. We don't need to make fun of his looks, right? I think he well, he's a villain. He's a pasty little fucking... Uh, anyway, okay, fine. No his, no making fun of his looks, okay? Uh, so what happened was, allegedly, a flight attendant for SpaceX alleges that Elon Musk asked her to do more during massage straight out of the Epstein playbook, pretty interesting how it's always the massage. She accused Musk of, oh, here's the, uh, is this the quartering what, one? What, is what was this? the name of the, um, that uh, Epstein doc that was like specifically about his like activity? Yeah, I saw the that. house in uh, Palm uh, Beach or it whatever? It was on Netflix, what was it? Um, God, I don't remember. Somebody in the chat, what, what was it called? Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich, was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the description of the allegation is, I, I think, literally exactly the same pattern yeah. that Epstein was doing at that house in Palm Beach. Right. They talk about how he would, um, they had this whole system to go and get young girls to come over to their house to give him a massage. And then basically it would escalate into right, exactly. sexual massage. 
But this is what Elon's doing now to deflect. The attacks against me should viewed, be viewed through a political lens. This is their standard despicable. He's talking more and more like Trump. It's pretty incredible. Totally. Playbook. I but saw nothing that will deter me for fighting for a good future and your right to free speech. Uh, wait, like... <sighs> is is an NDA... On so many how does levels. NDA work with free speech? Just curious. Because <laughs> this, he made them sign an NDA. I'll tell you one thing that's not disputed. He paid this girl $250,000 to shut up. So is mm -hmm. NDA... How does NDA mesh with free speech? I'm confused. Mm. Not, well, it seems to be a contract. It's part of the story, isn't it? Because um, <laughs> there is like, in here in LA, they're working on making that now, they're working on changing the law so that NDA, when it comes to sexual misconduct, won't be. Right, that's why some people speculate he moved to Texas mm -hmm. because of that change. They can no longer use NDAs and settlements for SA stuff, which is really interesting law, actually. And uh, all of a sudden, Elon Musk can't wait to get out of California. Interesting. Um, so anyway, let's continue. Also, here's the quartering tweet. Just show you what an absolute fucking moron he is. Like, you know, when I first read this, I was like, oh, he even quartering sees through this. But then I saw... I haven't seen what he said. So here's the headline. Uh, SpaceX flight attendant said Elon Musk exposed himself and propositioned her for... Sex uh, documents show the company paid her 250000 for silence. Uh, quartering says, The day after he say he's voting Republican, not even 24 hours later. By the way, the dude was having a threesome with Amber Heard and knocking up Grimes. Elon bags his own pussy. See, that's the problem. They all, like, idolize him so much. You can't do no wrong. It's like, it's just crazy what he managed to create. It really is a cult. Um, so, yeah, there are people that dumb out there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty incredible. So it, it says that Elon exposed his, you know, fully torqued member to her, was rubbing her leg without consent. I guess I should give a trigger warning. People are sensitive to this stuff. Too late. I already said the worst part, basically. And this is a, kind of the interesting part. Offering to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage. Now, I was like, I was wondering, is that a good deal? Is that a good trade, a horse for a handy? I mean, no, I know well, you want to actually get into that. So what's more interesting to me about this story is also she was a flight attendant. OK, and they pushed her into getting lessons on becoming a masseuse so she can give him massages so she would be booked on more flights. Yeah, and they encouraged her to do it on her own time and her own money. Here's the quote from the article. They encouraged her to get a license as a masseuse, but on her own time, on her own dime. They implied that she would get to fly more often if she were to do this because she would be able to give Elon a proper massage. Uh, I thought it was kind of strange because she wasn't hired to be a masseuse. Mm -hmm. She was hired to be a flight attendant. That's the kind of the Epstein yeah. The Epstein uh, I mean, slide. You're the richest person in the world. You, can't you would think masseuse? he can hire the best masseuse in the world. No, he wants them to do it. Pretty interesting, right? But um, no, but back to actually the really important question. Is a horse a good, is that a good payment? Well, for then, anything? okay. So the reason I, I was going to answer that is that she kind of started to lose her shifts. So, yeah, oh yeah, once she... Once so she, it's yeah. not just the horse payment, it's really like, yeah, probably the horse was a good deal because she could have also kept her job. It's not just the horse. Yeah. But yeah, after she re after she said no, mm -hmm. they cut her hours and basically fired her because she wasn't wanting to play ball. He knew that she was into horses, so she, he said he'd buy her a horse. No, but seriously, how much <laughs> the horse cost? I just want to know the, the economics of this. Seeing anywhere from... <laughs> Three thousand two hundred fifty thousand. Like, yeah, I think it just depends it's, on the breed. Yeah. Sea biscuit. You ain't buying her sea biscuit. You know what I mean? Three thousand. I don't think it's a good deal. Well, then you got to take care of a horse. J I mean, I'm, H she, it sounds like she would would be the person that would want a horse based on what she, it says. Yeah, she yeah she, she was history. into horses, so yeah. I mean, but no, that's not a good deal because um, she's not a masseuse. She, she's a flight attendant. Mm. And that would really lower her value as a person 
Right, right, right. That's the so, serious answer. So if she actually has a job and, ma- has, and if she gets a salary every month, she can buy her own a horse. Right, that's the and serious have answer. Thank self-esteem you. Self-esteem and be, you know. Nothing wrong with giving handies, though. If you want to. If that's what you're into. Yeah. But if you don't want to and you're coerced into it, right. that's bad. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if she wasn't getting to giving handies, mm-hmm. he could do better than a horse. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a joke here, guys. I'm trying to make. I know, joke. I know you are, but I, I get, going, I get but, so, but see, I get so riled up about stories like that. No, you're I right. I can't even make jokes. You're right, but I mean, horse semen. Maybe he should have offered her horse semen because I know that's very valuable. Right. Actually, the most valuable uh, liquid <laughs> on earth, but per ounce. So he maybe should have offered Dogecoin. She'd probably go for that. Dogecoin, yeah. <laughs> like a, you know, a load of sea biscuits jizz is like more valuable than gold by far. Semen tastes good. So maybe he should have offered that. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So yeah, Just I mean, a, a, let's see. I got some intel on this. Um, an a- analysis of one of the major semen sellers, <laughs> hundreds of horses on file, <laughs> show an average of nine hundred dollars <laughs> per dose. So I guess a load of semen is only worth nine hundred. Yeah. Still impressive. Yeah, I mean, if you start selling. Few May, a day, maybe yep. a I gallon. Mean, by volume, price by yeah. volume, you know. It's very valuable. And if just the right height, and if no if that semen is really required. good, and you and you breed, if like they're a Kentucky world champ, Derby, uh, winner, the ROI on that semen is crazy, off, off the charts. When can we get horse semen coin? <laughs> just saying. I mean, gold has a gold is a commodity. Why isn't horse semen a commodity? Like Come. that's a good store of value. Anyway, just making jokes here, guys. Don't get mad at me. So he offered to buy her a horse. Everyone's so mad at me right now. I'm no, just kidding. I'm not real. I'm not I don't reading. think anybody I'm, is I'm, mad I'm, at I'm you. reading the chat. I'm just kidding. I don't think so. <laughs> just saying, though. It is interesting. I love that. Just fact. saying. It's such an interesting fact, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, she got less and less time, and SpaceX paid her 250000 Thowie. As part of a severance agreement, that's a lot better than a horse. Yeah, just saying. Just Unless saying. it was Sea Biscuit, right? But doubt it. But that's more Sea Biscuit is more than that. Sea Biscuit is. <laughs> I think uh, the open well, that was an average. What he cited, yeah, that was the average. Yeah. How, type how much? Is, how much is it for C, for well, we world to, class horse jizz? I think that okay. uh, the the I think one of the most expensive was Secretariat. Yeah, how much was that? I'm sure we can find. It that sounds like he was just offering a product. horse, like any horse. I don't. Otherwise, Dog they would have mentioned the name. You know, if it was like a. I'm gonna buy you the. I'm gonna buy you sea biscuit, baby. Yeah. I don't know what I'm <laughs> typing. I don't. Know. How, how, how much, much is a sea biscuit load the most worth? Say world most expensive horse semen. I'm sure it will most pop up. Yeah. <laughs> don't be. Don't be ashamed, uh, Ab. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, drum roll, Zach. <laughs> Ready? Drum roll. Supposedly, winning big star semen is four point seven million. What? Whoa! For one load? <laughs> Wealthy investors are willing to pay Whoa. high prices for a proven winner semen. Whoa! Four point seven million for one load? I'm sure the the horse that just I mean, won the Kentucky Derby. I'm sure his his loads will be uh, worth a pretty penny. Dude, that's nuts, man. Can you imagine if someone paid you $5 million to jerk off? That's awesome. Oh my It'd be gosh, funny bro. if that applied to people like uh, semen of like the smartest person in the world. Yeah, Einstein semen? That's <laughs> yeah. fucking Look valuable. Can you imagine if you had Einstein semen? People would be crazy about that. Mm. That'd be people very What about Elon, Elon Musk semen? That should right. be pretty valuable. Yeah, too. people would pay for that. Thing. Right. Thank you so this much. This is theoretical. Well, you get it for free. Over $20 million <laughs> sure. worth of semen. <laughs> In eight months. If she was really unscrupulous, the play would be to like, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, let's use not. your imagination. From everywhere in my room. <laughs> okay, dude, stop, what? stop doing, stop, stop using that. Can one. I suggest an <laughs> owl or something next time, uh, love? What is going on with your cup? <laughs> you like my cup? What is this? This was know. a. Sam just handed it to me. This was a genius idea. Uh, who's Sam? Uh, it's uh, a, <laughs> it's a uh, frozen cup. There's like gel inside. That oh, freezes. that's awesome. Because yeah. we got some complaints about Ethan chewing on the ice. Oh. Are you serious? Genius. That's why you got this? Yeah. Also, oh it's my God. really big. So it's just kind of funny how it makes So you guys. Wow. I was wondering why I you guys love, this cup. I love this. 
Wow, I'm really that. I really need that much handling. <laughs> you guys have to. Get now, me how would that up apply up to chewing secretly? on food? We gotta get him an IV for food. Baby steps. All right, oh, that pizza, baby. Drip. IV drip. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> wow. I really am a pathetic fucking <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> I'm not going. I mean, Another thing I too, do. we're saying the sound of the ice clinking on the glass mm. and the mic was annoying. Okay. So. Thank yeah. you guys. Always not thinking just... of the show. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Um. So. The weird, there's a weird twist on this story, I'm not going to lie, that I feel like I would be remiss not to mention. I don't think Business Insider, I don't think they have a great track record of reporting. I don't think I'm the first one to point that out. And there's one really weird detail about um, this article, is that the story is reported from the stewardess friend. They never even talked to the Because she signed steward. an NDA. Right, so it could be that they're just trying to bypass the NDA. But in the article they say, this story is reported from the masseuse's friend, and she didn't even ask permission from the friend to share this story. Mm -hmm. And so, while I understand it's probably a sidestep at NDA, so that she doesn't get I in trouble, so. That's some fucking dog shit reporting, in my opinion. Like Why? that, that I don't know. That is like the that the the ground is so. Like, if you're gonna call into question the validity of the reporting, it's like the person it happened to wasn't even in the article. She didn't even I speak on it. I disagree with you on that. It just seems questionable. What does Dan think? Yeah, what does Dan think? What do I think? Well, I mean, I I don't know. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not saying I don't my my read it. on it. My read on it is that um, the most likely scenario is this woman did want to come forward mm -hmm. but couldn't. That's what and I this was that. the way to get around. I understand, NDA. but like in terms but of like solid also, reports. Yeah, no, because obviously bad. that he he's already using that as a way to yeah, deflect, and and reporting. his defenders are using it as a way to deflect. And you're you're not it wrong that, that the optics of that it's, is it's not great. Ridiculous. But also to be a victim of Daddy Mask Musk. Daddy Nobody mom. wants that, and I feel like this is the only way for her to bring this story out. Like, mm -hmm. how else uh, let me would say, she do that? Story. There's a reason Business Insider broke this and not the New York Times or the Washington Post. It's because it's embarrassing. Maybe. It's embarrassing if that's your source. Is the f I'm just saying. It's like it's. But it's it's not like the story is fake. It doesn't sound like it. There's the payment well, was made, right? Yes. The the element of the fact that there is. An NDA and a settlement that happened. Mm -hmm. um, gives I believe it her. A Good modicum thing. of uh, it's like. I, of so a, if yeah. you believe her, then I think you should open with that because what you're saying is kind of like putting the whole story into question. What I'm saying is, I do believe her, but it becomes pretty. It just becomes relatively toothless, and looks more like a political hit or a cash grab on Business Insider's side when they don't have like solid reporting. It's like, well, her friend told me this. We haven't even talked to her. It's like, okay. Like if fucking Dan came to you and was like, yo, my friend, you know, I'm just saying, it's not good reporting. I believe her, I'm just saying, it's fucking business insider. But what? It's just gonna give him and all of his supporters uh, like every out possible to say it's bullshit. What can, what can she do if she did want the story out but she signed an NDA? Nothing. But yeah, no, I don't think anything, right. you know. And what's interesting is like, you know, I'm just I'm give, I'm trying to be I'm just trying to give an impartial. No, I think it's important I, to say because it's, it's a fine. big angle in it's the fine. story. It's and it, like and it's per, what his defenders are. I mean, I read. With, listen, so it, yeah, I read the whole article and I was taken aback when it ended with that. I was like, what? I was mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? Her friend is the source of this, and they never even spoke to her. That just struck me as odd. That's all I'm saying. It's not like, but I have to say that it's not like they didn't confirm the story. They're not just reporting on something the person said and that's it. it they, they literally said we have not talked to that person. That okay, it to but they, the the paperwork and stuff are there to back up the story. It's not right. That you that's know, the they only did reason. Do some yeah, there is it some like, validity. It's to not the story. like 
They know. Just somebody came and told us this, and we're telling you that. Yeah, I mean, they corroborate it in that they, I think, they corroborated it in that there was a settlement paid for 250 to this girl, a severance. And that's basically all they're able to confirm, and it's all based on a friend's account. Again, I believe her. It just seems like, you know, pretty, pretty bad reporting, that's all. In the NDA, um, you know, her unwillingness to speak on this, um, because they did, correct me if I'm wrong, but they did say that they tried to speak with her, but she wanted nothing to do with it. It wasn't that they didn't reach out to her. Well, we can pull up the article. No, I think. I mean, I read it last I night. And I, that was my understanding, but I, I, I could be wrong on that. Um, Let me. But um, regardless, uh, you the know. The truth is, they could get fucking sued into oblivion by Elon Musk if they, if like the reporting is that thin, you know? I was. And they may. By the way, I was I was looking at the author. I was like, please don't. I was like, bro, the cat wrote this for sure. Uh, no, it wasn't cat. <laughs> Just saying, would have been funny. Uh, let's see. It ended with the friend told insider. I don't know at least six. Uh, yeah, blah blah blah. What's interesting though is one of the. Uh, go-to defenses that Elon has deployed um, was if this were true, uh, describe my dick for oh, me. Oh, pull that up. Yeah, um, that was... Which it's like... All right, so... It's a pretty cynical thing to say when you have this person under an NDA. Like, she can't say anything about that. Um, so it's... But, I mean, I, I understand why he said it because it's like, you know... Describe describe a scar or a tattoo. He well. probably has a normal looking dick. I mean, how do you describe that? Like, not everyone's got a crazy looking dick. Like Harvey Weinstein, right. Epstein had like wild looking dicks. Apparently, right. Like, but regard, <laughs> right. That's a good point. Uh. Um, but anyway, he said. But so let me read you just to touch on this important point. I think they said insider is aware of her identity. Insider is also aware of the flight attendant's identity. But we're not naming her because she's claimed to be the victim of SA. She declined to comment for this story, the victim. Now I'll also read this excerpt. The friend told Insider that she decided to come forward without consulting with the flight attendant. I think she's doing it for her friend to not put her at risk because of the NDA. Right. That's that's possible, but that's not what it says. I'm just saying. Right. If you're talking about the if you want uh, yeah, that that's that's the best guess, right? Mm -hmm. It says she says as a survivor, I felt obligated to share what I had been told. Um, and then they specifically say, unlike the flight attendant, her friend is not bound by any non-disclosure agreement. That's what Insider wrote. Um, I just I was kind of blown away by that line. I was like, whoa, that's weird. Uh, so there you have it. That's just a weird twist on it. And I don't think any other huge publication, like I said, there's a reason Business Insider broke the story. Does, not. Is nobody else talking about it? They broke the story. Okay, you don't think they went to New York Times first? Is nobody talking about it? Oh, it, I mean, it, yeah. It, now it's all Well, the now news, that they sure. broke it, then everyone else can report it, mm -hmm. you know. Report on their reporting. But. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what, so let's go back to, um, let's go back, so... Elon wrote on Twitter, well, first, when they called him for, for comment, he, he gave them a really interesting response. He said, there's much more to the story. That's what he told Insider. So he didn't actually deny it, which I thought was kind of damning and weird. Mm -hmm. um, but now, so that's what he told Insider. And then, and now what, he's and then he said, out denying it. but also he said, there's more to the story. That's like what every guilty person always says. Just wait until you uh -huh. hear it from my point of view. Yeah, I'll just say, wait until the the truth is revealed. No, it's total. It's totally in incriminating. Mm -hmm. It's like it also more just makes. I mean, I know he obviously didn't mean it this way, but it makes him sound like he's saying, "Oh yeah, there's it. a lot of girls like this." <laughs> yeah, there's a there's so much more to this story. <laughs> obviously, he didn't mean it that. What way. What I but, heard it as, but that's why he sh he should have just not said anything. What I heard it as is this definitely happened. Mm -hmm. That's right. what I heard. <laughs> and then another interesting detail in the article that corroborates it, or it's interesting, is that at the mediation with the flight attendant, Musk personally attended it. Mm -hmm. right. right. I read that That's too. pretty crazy. Uh, 
Here's the tweet I was talking about, by the way. How would they get all this information if they didn't do proper research on the story? I think the friend provided all that. I mean, they confirmed it, but I don't think they did much research, and just being honest. I think they got all, they corroborated the info, mm -hmm. just saying. You know. Musk uh, responded he's on Twitter. He said, I have to challenge, I have a challenge to this liar who claims their friend saw me exposed. Describe just one thing, anything at all, scars, tattoos, that isn't known by the public. She won't be able to, so, because it never happened. You know what that tells me? That's such a bad Horrible. response. You know what that tells me? You could go and get a tattoo right now and say this was there and she didn't call it out. Like, what? It tells me that he's been specifically ready to use this excuse when this yeah. happened inevitably because he doesn't have tattoos. He doesn't have distinct Sounds body Sounds like he's marker. being advised by our lawyer from TikTok. He's yeah, saying, right. <laughs> <laughs> Go and say you drank afterwards. You weren't drinking while you were driving. Totally. It's like the same logic. Hit and run. Get Let's a tattoo go. afterwards. Let's go. And she didn't know about that tattoo being there, so she wasn't there. Yeah, but if I was like a crusty old guy who's been doing this for a while, and I, like my, me, I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any markings on my body. I don't have anything weird going on with my penis. Just saying. Right? I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's like regular. So, and then like, so, what, what is there to say? I described it in detail in that uh, Bobby Lee episode the other day. <laughs> I described it in detail? Yeah. Oh. I don't know how much detail I described it in, but... Um, <laughs> but it's a, no a normal-looking penis, is my point. And so, this challenge is so obscene. It's disgusting, one. And two, it's like a fucking joke. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so ridiculous. Um, it just doesn't prove anything, you know. I don't know. I, I just feel like this is not the response for somebody who didn't do it. <laughs> no, and he actually took it further. He said, um, what's this one here I've highlighted? D is this what he wrote or did he tweet this? This is how he uh, responded to Insider. He said, this is what he told Insider. If I were inclined to engage in SA or SH, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote, calling the story a politically motivated hit piece. I mean, it's funny. If you take what the quartering said and responses like that, it makes way more sense when you look at him coming out as a Republican saying political hits are coming against mm -hmm. me right before this story comes out. Like, that's so fucking obvious. The yeah. attacks against me, he tweeted, should be viewed through a political lens. This is standard. Oh, we already read Despicable. this. Despicable. Yeah. I hate how at the end it's like, uh, everything I'm doing is for you. I'm doing more for the world than any human alive. Just let me not follow the rules. What's I, I, I'm doing so much for you. Come on. Come on. Actually, I do think they actually have that opinion. When you become that billionaire yes. and you have that such an inflated yeah. ego, you go... I am saving humanity. I'm not you could supposed at least to play by the rules. Hand job. The least you could do is give me a hand job. The rules do not also, apply to billionaires. It. You can rationalize a million a million ways, like like I'm not going down for a fucking hand job. Like I'm too important. You know. And he's probably correct. I mean, Epstein did it for like no, his whole yeah. life. And yeah, and Epstein, nobody even liked that guy to begin with. So. Right. Good luck with Elon. But, you know, it's just interesting to see it all kind of playing out. Um, I don't know if there's anything else, really. Elon asked her to come in his room uh, for a full-body massage. When she arrived, the attendant found that he was completely nude, except for a sheet covering his lower half of his body. During the massage, Musk exposed his genitals and then touched her and offered to buy her a horse to do more. That's awesome. The horse thing is just so fucking weird and bizarre. Although Epstein only paid him like 20 bucks or something, so... Very, uh, uh, Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah. And issuing horse. I'll buy you a land. Uh, <laughs> I'll buy a... Be a uh, horse for a handy. Yeah. <laughs> it's also this kind of like, he's so rich, he goes, everyone's got a price. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. got a price. He probably thinks himself, I can get a hand job from anybody. 
Mm-hmm. Well, would you get? Would you jerk him off for a billion dollars? Oh, I would do a lot more what than the that. Fuck? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone has his price. He's right. He just went too low with the horse. Honestly, he should have <laughs> given her cash. Horse and a stable. Right. The stable would have <laughs> come. In. The stable could have sealed the deal. I'm kidding, guys. Please come on. Don't fucking kill me here. Please come on. Just saying. Uh, Just saying. So, <laughs> yeah, so again, uh, in 2008, um, after becoming convinced that her refusal to accept Musk's proposal had diminished her opportunities at SpaceX, the attendant hired a lawyer and sent a complaint to the HR department. Around that time, the attorney's firm contacted the friend and asked her to prepare a declaration. The attendant's complaint was resolved quickly after a session with a mediator that Musk personally attended. I find that very interesting. Mm -hmm. He went there in person. That's pretty intense. This is a busy guy with a huge inflated ego. You know, he doesn't show up to shit unless it's important. Um, The matter never reached a court of law or even arbitration. In November 2018, Musk, SpaceX, and the flight enter, uh, attendant entered into a severance agreement for 250000 in exchange never to sue, and I'm sure it had a nice, juicy... The agreement also included a very restrictive NDA and non-disparagement clause that barred the attendant from ever discussing the severance payment or disclosing any information of any kind about Musk or any of his businesses. And this is really interesting. Just months after her settlement in 2018, the government, Jerry, uh, Jerry Brown, then the governor of California, signed into law the Stand Against Nondisclosure Act, which bars the use of NDAs going forward in settlements involving, uh, you know, SH, discrimination or assault, unless they are requested by the plaintiff. Now, what's the timeline of... of Musk wanting to leave California. It was a few years later, and like, yeah, I, I didn't mean, know about that bill. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I even said that last night when we were talking about it, somewhat facetiously. Of well, this is why he wanted to leave Texas, um, but because um, you know, I think it had much more to do with um, them trying to uh, close his factories during the COVID outbreak and everything, and him yeah. being unwilling to do that, and you know that that makes more sense for him to move out of California. Yeah, uh, he was for that getting reason. triggered. But the timing is interesting that, you know, no more sexual harassment NDAs and do their grid all the, months later he's out. Dude, the <laughs> guy runs a huge manufacturing plant that relies on robots and Texas can't even fucking keep their grid online. Like it's just <laughs> it's not that True. advantageous to be there. I'm just saying um, so he, so again, remember when Insider called him, he said, there's more to the story. But now on Twitter, he's denying it outright. He says, where were these wild accusations against Elon Musk before he took a stand against the establishment? When did he do that? When did he <laughs> take a stand against the establishment? I must have missed that tweet. <laughs> he is the establishment, dude. You're the richest person in the world. Yeah. Like, who are you taking a stand against? Exactly. God, I missed that. That when that happened, he stood against the establishment. Exactly, he says. Fucking the nailed fact it. That terrible he's even like echoing this kind of like replying to comments like this and totally. saying exactly it's just all part of like his building total that spin cult. Yeah, and for the record, like nobody normal would do that. And just a random Twitter person, terrible. It's like eight oh eight. It's like okay. And then he responds to that. And for the record, those wild accusations are utterly. Untrue. See, he didn't tell Insider that, interestingly, when they asked for a comment. Remember, he said, there's more to the story. That does, that's very different than utterly untrue. Mm-hmm. And then that's when he, of course, challenges her to describe his penis, which, as you know, is the ultimate uh, test of dispelling uh, the well-known uh, penis description uh, mm-hmm. uh, phase of every case like this. Describe my penis. Could you do it? And we've been married. We've been together for 15 years. Mm-mm. Go ahead, Eli. What's Other than saying circumcised, I mean, what? Circumcised? Okay, that's about half or more of, the, of, of Americans. 
What a, go on. Go on. I, I cannot do this. Exactly. But, but I know <laughs> I let my... her have her way. Oh, wait. Jordan, describe my penis, please. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool. Wait, okay. what? I think his mom did all <laughs> had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. <laughs> oh, there... Okay. He was very close with his grandma at first. Her genital region was exposed dimly. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> uh, this, topic you're, a bit. you're just off topic. She was topic. stroking herself absentmindedly. I've this is the... Jordan. So Jordan. This is not what I... Okay, he missed the point of the bit. That guy's deranged. Uh, anyway... He keeps responding to these people. It's strange how their friend... You can go pee, Ila, if you need to. I just uh, love here this one reply, so I don't want to go, but... Mm. Let me read it then. Okay. It's strange how their friend is the one who came forward years after it supposedly happened while claiming they can't stay silent. It's a story based on hearsay. My friend said no proof. Exactly, Elon said. Moreover, the friend in question who gave the interview... Wait, what's B... What's that... Business Insider. Okay. B.I. Yeah. Is far left activist. Oh, the friend is a far left activist actress in L.A. with a major political act to grind. It's like, okay, dude, like, shut up. That's just that's, like stupid. That's just weird. That means he knows who's the friend and he looked her up and what she's well, into. Well, whatever he knows, he's just the way he's framing it. He's just trying to play. And then into the this whole narrative. the fact that he even replied to this at all and said exactly, and it's like, well, you know that you made them sign an NDA. So what do you mean exactly? It's like if the girl wanted to tell the story herself, she can't. Yeah. So, what happened to free speech though? Where are you going to mention that? I mean, He's you're fighting the one. for free speech. Yeah, right. Right. NDA. He's doing it for all of us. NDA is... You can't speak when you sign an NDA. That can't be that's right. Just, because um, Elon Musk is a free speech absolutist. No, that's just when it comes to enemies of the Musk. Right? But if we're in it, we shouldn't worry. Right. He says absolutist, though. He says, I'm fighting for speech, speech for everyone. Does that include the girl that signed the NDA? Or, not, not you. He goes, free speech for everyone, not you. For, I was saying, it's free speech for everyone, not you, you, you. You signed NDAs. Um, no, it was, uh, so he said, did you respond to Business Insider? He said, no, it was clear their only goal was a hit piece to interfere with the Twitter acquisition. No, if anything, first of all, Business Insider, the only thing they're after, I'm being honest, is just getting clicks for the website. I don't think they care about and the Twitter And then he's saying the story was written before they even talked to me. So, like, how much before? Was it before the Twitter acquisition? That's normal, by the way. You write the story. But he's blaming it on the Twitter acquisition. When did, they, when did the story come up? I don't know. I have no long. I have no idea how long they've been writing. It would be interesting to find out. But that's how it works. I mean, you write the article and then you reach out for a comment. But I'm just being honest. Business Insider is far from. Like I said, there's a reason the New York Times didn't break this story. I think that's a fair point. They're, that's fine. Yeah. I I get that. Yeah. But that I just want to, in my opinion, it just doesn't mean that the story is not real. No, that's of course all not. I'm saying. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, but yeah, this is interesting because he says he didn't tell them anything, but Business Insider explicitly says he said there's more to the story. So I don't know if he's going to sue them. That'll be interesting as well. A lawsuit could backfire on him, though, because then he has to do a discovery. Mm -hmm. And basically all the NDA and all the meetings and stuff basically becomes public, I think, at that point through discovery. Right. I don't think he's interested in that. But that's or on the flip side... Without even a lawsuit, I mean, can't... This know, will do nothing to him. Can't, can't he just say, I release this person from all uh, NDAs? So you absolutely could. Clarify? Absolutely. Absolutely. He could absolutely release her from the NDA. In fact, he should. If he didn't do anything, I mean, I don't see why not. He absolutely should. Um, yeah. If he's innocent, uh, he should release her. But I don't think it's going to matter. He made this really shrewd and intentional decision to uh, join 
the basically anti cantal culture, pseudo free speech guys. I mean, look, Trump was accused by like 13 different women. Yeah, didn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, not, these guys become untouchable once they come into this crowd, this right wing crowd, right. MAGA crowd. It's like you can't do anything. Uh, you know, it's the worst thing you could do if you're a MAGA crowd is probably say something nice about Obama or like, I don't know, uh, be gay. Being gay is bad. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a hard, that's a bitter pill to swallow. Thank you, Dan. But anyway, that's the story. Um. <laughs>